Foy Ranch. I'm Rocky Foy and this is my wife Nancy. We're very honored to have won the Leopold Conservation Award and hope you enjoy a glimpse of our ranch. This is one of our monitoring points here. We have drove a steel post here, so we have a reference point where we can take pictures up the creek and down the creek and across the creek here. Uh, we started this in 91. We've taken pictures every three or four years since then, and uh, it shows the dramatic uh, change in the creek that went from a sandy, wide, creek bed to narrowed up with uh, tree regeneration and grass going right down into the creek now and the creek's narrow enough that cattle can use it to get a drink out of and it's just been a real real eye opener it's really helped the riparian areas a lot this is some musk thistle here that uh, is a noxious weed and we introduced some beetles into it that eat the head and keep it from spreading. It's, it's more of a biological method to control this weed. They never completely will kill it because it would, they would lose their home if they did, but they keep it from spreading. So uh, it, it's pretty neat to, to watch them work and see what they do to it. We just one day looked at what was happening with the ranch uh, and we we thought that there was a better way to do things and uh, we've gotten rid of a lot of sagebrush. We have put in uh, a lot of electric fence to, to uh, make smaller pastures. We're managing our pastures more intensively. We're, we're moving cattle so that we go in there and we'll we'll graze a pasture and be out of there in three or four days and on to the next one. And by doing that, it gives those, the grass in there time to recover and keeps the root system healthy uh, before you ever come back into that pasture again. We've drilled the wells, put in solar wells, uh, scattered the water around a little better so those cattle will go to different parts of that pasture and utilize all the grass that's in there. We try to go into a pasture and just evenly graze it and get out and, and go to the next one and keep doing that as the grass uh, grows fast, we move fast. As the grass slows down, we start slowing our rotation down. And what we're doing is managing for when we're going to come back in there. We, do, we leave enough uh, forage there so that it's healthy and can grow back. And so when we come back, it's, everything's healthy again. This is one of our solar wells that we put in. Uh, we need quite a bit of water uh, for a short, a lot of water for a short duration. And we went to solar. It's really helped our cattle a lot to get water scattered around the different areas of the pastures and uh, helps utilize the grass a lot better. Uh, we're in these pastures for three or four days and when we leave why we just flip the switch and turn the water off and, and don't turn it back on until we're back in here. So we get a lot of water for for just a short period and then it's off for the rest of the time. Everything's better, you know, taking care of, of what we've got here. We're just here for a short time and we you know we want to try to leave it better than what we found it and hopefully the next generation will be able to, to carry on. <laughs>